Hey guys, welcome to Plant Talk. So today we're gonna to go ahead and propagate this spider plant. I am absolutely in love with this little guy. Um, he's a fully green spider plant, so sometimes you'll see it with a white down the middle. This is one that is completely green. And right here are the spider plants that you're gonna propagate. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and grab a thing of water. Now it doesn't have to be glass, it doesn't have to be clear, it doesn't have to be any of that. It just has to be a container of some kind that has water in it. And then what we're gonna do is we are just gonna take these little spider plants and we're gonna pull them off. And as you can see, there is the vine that connects and if you just pull it off of there and on the bottom of these, you can see roots starting. Now, I tend to leave some of the really small ones, so the wee little baby ones, I'm not necessarily gonna pull off of here. I'm gonna kinda pull the bigger ones. And I'll just turn this guy around. This is a big one, look at that one. That has a handful of spider plants just mixed right in there. And while I'm in here, you can see there's some of these that have kind of died off. I'm just gonna come in and cut those out. And then all you wanna do is go ahead, grab your little spider plant babies and we're just gonna put all of the root parts together. And we're just gonna do this so then the bottom part where the roots are gonna be can get into the water. And then you just pop it into your water just like that. We're gonna let this sit for a couple weeks until we have some solid roots in here. Now, at the same time when I'm kind of coming in and cleaning up my plant, I'm just gonna snip off these little brown leaves. Now, those typically come from either over or under watering your plant. And I am very, very guilty of under watering my plants. Um, I sh need to do better at it, but sometimes I just get so busy that I don't remember to water them all. Um, so that's actually one of the reasons why I created this channel was kind of to get back on track with my plants and start taking a little bit better care of them um, and just to share some of the stuff that I know. So I'm just going to clean this little guy up by trimming off these brown spots. And this is just a personal preference. You seriously could leave the brown spots. Um, it'd be fine. I just think it looks a little bit better without them. And it's not like it's hurting the plant. Um, you don't want the plant trying to fix parts of its leaves that are not going to come back. Um, and then pulling the spider babies off of your plant is actually really good for it. So the plant has to send nutrition through these shoots all the way down and take care of the babies too. So that takes away from the main plant. So the more babies you have, the more energy that's going to these. So going ahead and removing them and propagating them is doing two things. It's gonna give you brand new propagations, but it's also going to allow the main plant to grow better and to have more nutrients for itself. 